Let me give you a quick little hack for getting through an 18 or 24 hour fast. The definition of fasting is abstaining from or not engaging in a kind of behavior. So not engaging in eating behavior. Well, you can have just a protein shake. Let's say first thing in the morning, in the middle of your 24 hour fast, you've gone 12 hours, you have a protein drink and you go 12 more hours. You can also have supplements. So you might take omega-3 and some fiber and a multivitamin. Every time you fast, except for while you sleep, you should be drinking plenty of non-sugary liquid. So unsweet tea or water is gonna be ideal. But if you need to have a small amount of protein based, usually liquid in order to get you through that's really fine. Your body doesn't really care intellectual reasons for the fast. All it knows is it's not getting nutrients. Now, I wanna help you understand what's happening in your body when you, one, constantly stuff it full of nutrients that it has to handle, or when you give it a break from those nutrients. Your stomach, your pancreas, and your liver, they are not clued in to what your prefrontal cortex is thinking. All they know is the stomach has what it has in it, it has has it in the form that you put it in there and it's got to deal with it. When you're constantly putting food in your body, it gets into your bloodstream and your bloodstream delivers it to your liver and your liver has to do something with it. And if it's glucose related, it's going to turn it, put it into the bloodstream and the cells of your body are going to have to try to deal with it. This drives up your insulin level and the more and higher your insulin gets pushed, the more your cells begin to resist its effects and you actually actually contradictory, get less glucose into your cells. That's not the point and that's not what's healthy and that's not what's needed, but that's what happens. This puts you in a pre-diabetic or a diabetic state and for most people there's gonna be some fat gain and some weight gain going on and all kinds of other chronic problems are gonna come from that. By simply not putting the food in in the first place, you avoid that whole process. So what happens when we don't put food in? Where do the nutrients come from? Well, remember, your body is very efficient. It knows exactly what to do. So it will draw those nutrients from storage. So we have glucose in storage, we have fats in storage, and we have protein in storage. We have most of our vitamins have adequate storage and all the minerals can be shuffled around from place to place. Your body is very good at going 12 hours without eating and much longer. Think about a factory. It's got raw materials coming in one side, it's got waste and recycling going out the side, and it's got the main product going out the end, right? Every factory in the world has to have a period of time where it slows down or stops the raw materials to clean up, repair, to finish products and things like that. And if you were to continually load more raw materials in, there's eventually gonna be a breakdown in the process. And if you're continually putting poor raw materials in, not the right stuff, highly processed, artificial, not the right raw materials, you will 100% get your factory to break down. That's what you're doing to the cells in your body when you feed yourself constantly, continuously, poor quality food. So the very first thing that intermittent fasting does is it interrupts that process and it gives you time to consume something at least neutral and beneficial like water or maybe even something of a little bit higher quality. So I hope that I've helped you understand that intermittent fasting is not complex, it's not scary, it's perfectly normal and it's very, very healthy for your body. I would like for you to begin trying 12 hour fast tonight, all right? Just pick a time that you're not gonna to eat anymore you're only gonna have water after that and for 12 hours don't consume anything and then when you do consume something make it the highest quality best food possible that's primarily vegetable and protein based give intermittent fasting a try for about 30 days and you tell yourself if you're feeling better or not and I hope every single one of you has tremendous success doing this